Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Upper St. Clair High School. Uh, boys varsity basketball just about ready to tip off. You've got your hometown Upper St. Clair Panthers uh, sporting a one and two record, uh, getting ready to tip off against their neighbors from the south, the Trinity Hillers. Uh, the Hillers bring in a, a three and zero record uh, to this uh, Friday night matchup. My name is Phil Elias. I will be giving you play by play. I'm assisted by Cal Romano, sophomore from Upper St. Clair High School. Just about ready to get underway. Upper St. Clair uh, runs out their starting five. Darius Radfar, Gabe Hoy, Kyle Minard, Jack Hansberry, and Matthew Kissinger. Uh, the tip is up and controlled by the Hillers. It's number two, uh, Jaden Nelson, a guard, sophomore guard, right side working at the Steven Schultz. They find junior guard Joey Carolla and the Hillers now setting up in the half court uh, against these Upper St. Clair Panthers. This is the fourth uh, of a really tough starting four games uh, for these Panthers. Uh, they, they hosted the Modell uh, tip-off classic at Schultz working underneath against uh, freshman, or I beg your pardon, uh, soft senior uh, Darius Radfar. Uh, Carolli's uh, three-point effort doesn't work. Radfar works the right side of the, uh, the rim and can't get it to fall. But the, uh, these Panthers started off uh, the Modell tip-off classic beating the uh, Manesson Greyhounds and then falling to uh, rival uh, CV Colts in a very tight game. And then just two days ago, um, Upper St. Clair took a trip north uh, to Pine Richland, Phil Jakovic and company. And uh, the Pine Richland Rams had their way, uh, beating uh, the Panthers by 25. Early going here, we've got a defensive scrum going on back and forth uh, between these two teams. Carulli works the right side. He's fouled going up. And he'll go to the, uh, to the free throw line. A uh, chance to break this scoreless tie. 6.27 to play uh, in the first quarter. A minute and a half. And I beg your pardon, that was not a shooting foul. That, uh, that was a floor foul. And it's the first personal foul of the half. The Hillers will inbound the ball underneath their own rev. That's the big boy, number 30, Ben Phyllis. Good football player. 6'5", junior forward. Uh, guilty of the traveling call. And we're a good minute and a half through. And still no score. Maybe the best scoring opportunity was Darius's, uh, Darius Radfar's three-point attempt last possession down court that came up just short. Cal Miner, Jr., working against number three, Joey Carolla. Miner kid off to a hot start. And these Hillers are sitting in a man-to-man uh, -man defense. That was a floor foul on uh, number 34, Steven Schultz. Fouls are one apiece. We got more fouls in this game than we do points. 0-0, zero, zero, two points gone, first quarter. Minor at right side against the man defense. Jaden Nelson defends Minor. Probes, can't find anything, brings it back out, finds his point guard, Darius Radfar. Darius works right elbow, nothing doing. Back to Minard, Hansberry, junior quarterback from Deerfield, finds Kissinger. Kissinger guilty of the travel, and we're coming back the other way. Both teams playing man. St. Clair looking to press this team. St. Clair had uh, success with this defense in the, uh, in the Modell tip-off classic where they played a tight press man coverage for, for most of the game. And Coach Danny Holzer uh, likes the matchup. If you like the one-on-one like -on -one matchups, you will go to a man concept, man defensive concept. If you, if you don't like the matchups, uh, you could see him drop into a zone. I think sometimes Coach Holzer uh, drops into zone just to change the pace, much the way a pitcher would 
uh, change speeds just to give the uh, the opponent a different look. We got a foul on the floor. That is the Hiller's second. Two fouls to one. More fouls than points. We have a full three minutes gone. No score in this game. 3-0 Hillers, 1-2 Panthers. Hansberry inbounds the ball to Quentin Nelson, who just checked in. Six foot seven, Gabe Hoy takes a break. Nelson, nothing doing. Baseline finds Hansberry right side. Hansberry working against Caroli. Back to Nelson. Switch defense finds Caroli back on Nelson. Radfar to Minert, working the ball. A little edge. Minert loses it going up. And that's a uh, that's a turnover. Number 25. Jeff Eckert, six foot seven junior forward, has checked in for the Hillers. And the big boy, Ben Phyllis, will take a break. Full court press defense, that's what you get. That's what the Panthers are looking for. They turn the Hillers over. Radfar goes up, can't get it to the rim. The well, ball's out of bounds. And that was out of bounds on St. Clair, apparently. As the sophomore McClendon checks in, and a junior Kissinger uh, takes a seat. Hiller ball, inbounding ball. Jay Nelson uh, finds number 24, Dawson Mary. Back to Nelson. Finds Caroli, the guard, sets up shove top, run a little pick, play, takes it right to the rack, can't get it to fall too high. Hansberry with the rebound. Here come the Panthers in transition. McClendon, number 25, finds an open Radfar. Radfar for three from the left side off the front end of the rack, he can't get it down. Ball's loose on the ground, Caroli with the rebound. Here come the Hillers. Four gone in this first half. And we don't have a point. 24, Dawson Mary. Working right side, finds 25. Jeff Eckert, and Eckert takes it up, and it's foul for the first points of the game. The foul was on Quentin Nelson. St. Clair's second. Jeff Eckert with a chance to make an old-fashioned three. Dylan Kern, number five, six foot junior guard, has checked in for Trinity. Ecker's good on the and one. It's 3 0 Trinity. St. Clair looking for his first points. Trinity by a field goal. That looked like a little bit of a, oh boy. Hey, Trinity gets the timeout. We're going to go to a break with 3.36. Go Welcome on. back to Upper St. Clair High School. I'm Phil Elias. I'm joined on the camera by sophomore. Cal Romano, three nothing hit Trinity, three thirty to play in the first quarter. Uh, the Hillers set up shot with a chance to expand here. That's five. Dylan Kern right side and Jay Nelson back up at top. Minor with the steal, take it up. He is fouled going up, can't get it to fall, uh, but Minor will go to a line uh, with a chance to. Score St. Clair's first points. That's uh, Trinity's third team foul. Minor shooting two. First one's down. Cal hits them both. That one touched every part of the rim. 3-2. Baseball game. Three minutes to play. Caroli finds number 42. Saul Wells inside. Saul is fouled going up. Trinity already eight people deep in his bench. They are uh, not afraid to sub him up. Saul Wells is a uh, six foot senior. He is, that's a two shot foul, is a shooting foul.
Wells misses them both. Rebound comes off. Foul underneath. I beg your pardon, not a foul. That was a lane violation. I take that back. That was, in fact, a foul. Uh, that uh, is Trinity's fourth personal. It's a little high. They're tracking high. And it becomes relevant for two reasons. One is if you get the seven, the other team automatically will go to the line and shoot a one and one. If they hit the front end, they earn the right to shoot a second. It becomes, to me, even more relevant in the late stages of the game where you get some kids into foul trouble. And even early, you, you, you get a starter in foul trouble, you may have to take them out and sit them so that you have them down the stretch. Uh, Trinity turns St. Clair over and transitions to the offensive side. And uh, finds Wells down low working against Nelson baseline. Out to Kern, inside to Ecker. Ecker working, spinorama to the hoop, and it's good, 5-2. Two minutes to play. St. Clair's on the board, but they're still looking for their first field goal. They've hit two foul shots. Early defensive man-to-man -man game. Both teams sticking to this man concept. Minor gets open for three. Can't get it to fall. It's off the front end. Trinity. Will inbound the ball in their offense in their defensive zone. Gabe Hoy checks in. Darius Radford checks out. We're 5-2 Trinity. 151 to play in the first quarter. Trinity inbounds the ball, finds Wells. Wells works the left side and he finds the tall tree. Gabe Hoy. Number three, Joey Caroli will, uh, will inbound the ball. Finds number one, Connor Plunkett. Plunkett inside to Faulkner. Field goal can't get the fall. Sophomore McClendon uh, with the rebound. Finds his junior counterpart, counterpart, Quentin Nelson. Quentin dribble drive the lane, can't get it to fall. Doesn't draw a foul. Here come the Hillers in transition. Left side, nice pass. Caroli to Wells. Uh, Wells goes up and is fouled uh, by number 15, Gabe Hoy. And that'll send the, uh, the six-foot senior, Saul Wells, to the line. Shooting two. Foul number 15, Gabe Hoy. At the line, number 42, Saul Wells. St. Clair's fourth team fouls. Team fouls are four side. Front end's good. Trinity six, Upper St. Clair two. Kissinger and Radford check in. Minard and Nelson check out. Wells hits them both. Seven two. Trinity by five. St. Clair has not hit a field goal yet. And, you know, for that matter, Trinity's only hit two. McClendon working against Nelson. Stops and pops. It's down 7-4. McClendon playing with a lot more confidence this year in the offensive zone. Um, that's a travel. He's going to go back this way uh, than, he, uh, than he did last year. I, uh, Colin was very... Aggressive defender, still is. Looks better with the ball in his hand this year and he's just a sophomore. Kissing her working left side. Might have dragged that pivot foot. Up to Radfar, up top, Radfar. Tries to cross over Nelson, loses the handle on the way to the rack. Finds Colin working right side, back to Radfar, open. That ball looked to be on line but it hit the front of the iron and it comes out. 7-4, we got 35 to play, 35 seconds to play. Trinity setting up, working against this man coverage. Works it inside and draws a foul. Not so sure that was there, the foul. That was 
I like those Tic Tacs I had earlier today. Ticky tacky. That's kissing her second. That's what I mean. Kiss is going to take a little seat here. That's early foul trouble in the first quarter. You got four quarters. Matthew has two fouls. Two times four quarters. He's on the pace to have eight. That's foul trouble. He's going to take a little break. Connor Plunkett, six foot senior guard, hand checks Rad Far and gets a little too much skin. And that's a foul, five sides a foul. And for the first time this season, sophomore guard, Christopher Pantelis, number 10, will check in. Christopher broke his hand. He's got a little tape on that left hand. He broke his uh, a finger on his hand, I think during practice or a scrimmage. And um, this will be his first action, uh, varsity action. I spent a little time in the uh, JV gym before this game, and Christopher was seeing a little work in there. Radfar working underneath. We got six to play. Really nice. Seven, six, two seconds to play. Jay Nelson gets a last second shot off. He cannot get it to fall. At the end of one, it's Trinity seven, USC six, and we're going to a break. Welcome back to Upper St. Clair High School, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil Elias. I am joined on camera by Kyle Romano, standout sophomore. Uh, we're about to start the second quarter of action. 7-6, Trinity leads. Uh, the possession arrow ended in favor, or pointing in the direction of USC at the end of that half, so. Cal Miner inbounded the ball at half court, and they will set up in the offensive zone, down by a point. Hansberry, Junior, pride of Deerfield, finds Minert. Minert to Radfar. Radfar back to Hansberry. Hansberry right side, finds Pantelis. Back out in front. Too much for, too high for Minert. And it's Trinity coming back the other way with a one point lead. Sophomore McClendon has checked back in. Christopher Van Tellis sees his first couple minutes of varsity action and is checked out. Corolla left side, baseline against Radfar. He had a bad angle, found his way out from underneath the hoop, got the ball towards the rim, and was fouled going up. Joey Corolla will shoot two. That was St. Clair's six team foul. So the next foul that St. Clair commits will send Trinity to the line, uh, regardless if it's a shooting foul. They're shooting one and one. Caroli hits the front end of a two shot foul. Caroli good two times, and it's 9 6 Trinity. Here come the Panthers inbounding the ball. McClendon with the seam right side finds the big boy, Gabe Hoy. It's good for two. And he's fouled going up. That was a burst there by Colin. I, that's a burst we saw in football. Uh, Colin McClendon is a, uh, a two-time letterman in, um, in football. He's a sophomore, so he, he lettered as a, as a freshman and as a sophomore. He's a letterman in um, hoops last year. And will undoubtedly get another letter here. Uh, Colin has the uh, opportunity to pull off a very rare feat, which is be a four-time letterman in two sports, uh, two varsity sports. And uh, that little burst there that generated that basket is what we saw a lot of uh, last year, uh, Colin out of that tailback spot. You get a little seam for him, and he's the type of tailback that hits it up in there. Le'Veon Bell, much more of a patient runner. Uh, Colin McClendon, less patient. Colin McClendon would be, uh, that's what Lyman like, right? I get you a little hole. It's not going to stay there forever. And Lyman want that, that running back to hit it up in there. And uh, Colin McClendon with a burst there down the right side of that block. Looked like he was running the ball. 9-8 nine, nine, Trinity. St. Clair with a chance to take the lead. Miner puts up the three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound taken away by number two, Jaden Nelson. McClendon pulled up just shy of a foul. Three ball, Caroli. That ball was in and out. Radfar with the rebound. Throws it back in with Jaden Nelson there to pick it off. Pace of play, picking up a little bit. Ball is on the ground. Here come the Panthers in transition. Down by a point with six to play in the second. 
Radfar finds McClendon. McClendon, three ball from Hansberry coming. It's up and it's down. And like that, the Panthers are up 11-9. The proud of Deerfield. Jack Hansberry drops a three. And the Panthers have their first line, uh, their first lead of the night, 11-9. 5.52 to play. It was number 20, Robert Nelson, 6'2 freshman working baseline. Darius Radfar guilty of the block. That's a personal foul. That's uh, not a shooting foul. Robert Nelson will be shooting one and one. If he hits the front end of this, he'll earn the right to shoot another one. If he misses the front end of this as it comes off the rim, it will be a live ball. 11-9 USC, 5.52 to play. Early in this um, varsity campaign for these uh, Danny Holzer coach Panthers. Front end's good. Nelson's earned the right to shoot a second. He's got an opportunity to tie this game at 11. Second one's off the back of the rim. Long rebound is taken away by McClendon. McClendon working against a full court Hiller press. They break it. St. Clair will set up shop. Caroli playing really tight. Here's Hansberry with a three ball, can't get it to work. Back comes Nelson, left side against McClendon. Can't get it to work. Hansberry working left side. So they're playing man-to-man -man defense. That, to me, the defense is tight, and particularly up front. And they, they've actually dropped now into a 2-3 zone. It's new this possession. They're out of that man defense. Radfar can't get his three ball to foul, or to, to, uh, to drop. Caroli, a nice little teardrop from the right side of the block. And it puts Trinity back up in front, 12-11. So they're pressing, they're trapped, they're trying to trap the, uh, trap the Panthers at half court. They turn them over. Sure what the call was there. That's not a jump ball. That ball was loose. Possession arrow was in Trinity's favor. I believe they called a jump ball there. See if they switch this possession arrow. 12-11 Trinity. Chance to uh, expand on that. Hansberry uh, with the foul. It's a shooting foul. We'll send number three, Joey Crowley, to the line. Crowley's got four on the night. It's Jack's second foul. Crowley's good on the front end. Crowley's good two times, 14-11. Trinity back up by three with 4.30 to play in the half. They're trying to trap this St. Clair team. And then, I don't know, they, they drop back into a zone. They don't. A good, strong play underneath by Matthew Kissinger. Gets the, uh, gets the offensive rebound. Throws it right back up at the peach basket. It's fouled going up. 14-13. Trinity up by one. Kissinger will get one foul shot here with a chance to tie. And it's good. We're tied at 14-14. Good defensive ball game here. It appears to be two pretty evenly matched teams. Hillers turn it over. Ball's all over the place. That's uh, that's vintage Cal Monert. If that's him getting up off the ground here, that's uh, get on the ground and get a loose ball. That's fantastic hustle. 
it's Trinity's ball because the possession arrows uh, in their favor. Uh, but with that uh, that recovered fumble by uh, by the minor boy, you know, that possession arrow will switch, and it does on the inbounds play. Uh, next jump ball called will go to St. Clair. 14 all, 350 to play. Both teams working in the bonus. Caroli tries to clear it out and work off a pick. Takes a shot from just upside the right elbow. Can't get it to drop. Trinity continues to play an aggressive, tight defense, trying to trap and turn these Panthers over. The Panthers pass their way out of it. Minor working through traffic down low on the right side. And Minor is fouled on the floor. He will go to the line shooting one and one. Uh, the Panthers are moving the ball and moving better as a team. Uh, as the season goes on, they, they like their opponents to get better. Uh, and the, the Panthers appear to be getting into sync to me. Miner shooting one and one. Can't get it to fall. Pillars take off the rebound. 14 all, 320 to play. Crowley top side sets his offense. Finds Mary baseline. Back out in front and Robert Nelson. Robert works against the tall tree. Gabe Hoy influenced by size. Gabe took that size right up. Couldn't get it to fall. Forced a bad angle shot. St. Clair's turned Trinity over. And they will work from the offensive zone. Chance to take the lead. We're under three to play here. Very tight defensive ball game. Miner forces his way to the rim. Contact, nothing called. Here come the Hillers in transition. Caroli working one on one against Radfar. Gets an open three look. Mary can't get it to fall. McClendon with the rebound. Dawson Mary had an open three there. Couldn't get it to drop. Find the St. Clair on the attack. Trying to break a 14 all tie with two and a half to play in a second. Big boy Hoy underneath working left side. A little fishing hole. Gay's been catching fish there. That's his sixth of the night. It's 16, 14 Panthers. Games had a good up and down feel to it. I think both teams are playing really good man defense and open shots have been a rarity. Dawson Mary had one there. Uh, St. Clair had an opportunity or two uh, themselves in this first half, but not more than that. Tight defense, fouls are up. You, know, you play that type of defense, you're gonna start getting called. So this could become a attrition game. Yeah, 16-16, the scoreboard's wrong. They'll get it right. Minute 40 to play, score is 16 all. Nelson working top side, finds his guard. Minert, Minert finds Radfar left side. Radfar takes it to the hole, I beg your pardon, finds his senior classmate. Gabe Hoy, left side, they can't get it to fall. Robert Nelson. It's an easy two there. And Trinity's up by two with a minute 10 to play. Nelson left side. Goes baseline. Good effort play, gets it to the rim. And then a forward spin on the ball to get that thing to drop down a cylinder. The shot's no good, but Quentin will be shooting two with a chance to tie. One ten to play. The first half. Nelson no good on the first. Can't make two, make one. Second one's good. 18-17, one point lead. Jaden Nelson finds Robert. Three-pointer from Caroli. Can't get it to fall. That ball jumps up the backside, up to those straps, which you know, talked about those straps on top of the hoop there last game. They, um, they come into play more than you would like. 
they hit that, it's a dead ball. I actually think it's a, uh, a jump ball, it's a possession arrow. I actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know how that works. Nelson can't get a shot from the right elbow to fall. McClendon cleans the uh, rebound up. St. Clair maybe looking to play last shot. The problem with sitting for last shot is this tight defense is forcing St. Clair to move. 25 seconds to play, 18-17 Trinity lead. Nelson finds Hoy on, underneath. The ball's hit out of bounds by Trinity. 19.4 to play. Trinity sends in some defensive reinforcements. Number 33, Adam Raggy. And 42, Saul Wells come in. Nelson working left side. Finds Minard. Finds Radfar. We're down to 10 to play. Find a ball in someone's hands who wants to something off here. It's going to be Radfar. Works center. Can't get it to fall. The tip doesn't work. And that's the end of the first half. It is USC down uh, by one. Uh, to the Trinity Hillers, 18-17. We'll be back. Welcome back, Panther fans, to Upper St. Clair High School. We're about ready to tip off the second half. I'm Phil Elias. I'm joined uh, on the camera by sophomore Cal Romano. Trinity uh, holds a slim one-point lead in a very defensive uh, first half of play. Open shots were rare. And uh, both teams ended in a double bonus, so uh, keep your eye on, uh, on fouls as this game wears on. Uh, the uh, possession arrow favored uh, the Panthers and uh, Darius Radfar, senior guard from Tall Trees, uh, the pride of Tall Trees, inbounds the ball. They work it down low. Gabe Hoy, and Gabe is good for two more. And uh, Panthers jump to a um, early 19-18 uh, lead in the second half. And the Gabe is good for eight on the night so far. Uh, all of them from uh, from short range, right underneath. Uh, Caroli jacks a three ball, can't get it to fall. Hansberry with the rebound, founds McClendon in transition. And a transition loss. Uh, uh, McClendon lost the handle and his feet there. Uh, it sure looked like he got bumped to me. Uh, nothing called. Uh, back come the Hillers. And it's uh, number two, uh, Jaden Nelson, sophomore, uh, 5'11 guard. Up top to Plunkett. Wonder if he's any relationship to Jim. Uh, underneath the 34, that's Steven Schultz. Uh, Jaden Nelson's number two on our side here. Finds Schultz. Schultz right side. Uh, to Plunkett and Connor Plunkett. Uh, travels and turns it over. And back come the Panthers. The chance to, uh, to build on this one point lead. 19 18, St. Clair. Leads with uh, just about a minute and uh, 20 seconds gone in this uh, this third quarter play. Uh, Hansberry finds Radfar. Radfar working against Jay Nelson. That's McClendon, the sophomore, uh, left side. Finds Hoy underneath, and Gabe is in double digits. They've worked that underneath stuff quite effectively to Gabe. They've now opened up, uh, tying their biggest lead of the night. They're up by three. Uh, that's, a, that's a foul on Colin. I don't know about that one. They, they didn't give Colin the, uh, uh, the body check. Uh, I thought he was entitled to as he worked the right side uh, offensively just a minute ago, and then they called him on a real tight foul there. 21-18, St. Clair. Big boy, takes a three-pointer, can't get it to fall, follows his shot, and gives Gabe Hoy a little lift in the back. 
he's guilty of a, uh, a foul. That's Ben Phyllis, big guard. They call him a, uh, a forward. I call him a guard as an offensive right guard. Get that big boy pulling out in space. Uh, Radfar working topside finds Kissinger. Left side of the elbow. I was just talking to uh, Matthew Kissinger's dad and uncle in line of concession stand <laughs> at halftime. And they just called Kissinger on a uh, charge there. And Kissinger is the pride of the Sky Ridge Street area. He lives at the bottom of the hill. Next to uh, Officer Keith Strain. Happy holidays to the Strain family. Evan Strain is in the U.S. Army. He's a graduate of Upper St. Clair High School. He, uh, he worked his camera with me a couple times over the last couple of years. Uh, St. Clair working in the offensive zone. Boy, so McClendon can't get a jumper from the right elbow to fall. Hoy cleans up the rebound, goes right up with it. And they caught him on a foul. Uh, Coach Holzer's not happy with it. With three fouls, to, that's the third team foul for St. Clair. I don't know if I agree with any one of them to this point in the second half. Seven Schultz can't get it to fall. Here come the uh, Panthers on the break. Radfar right side. Can't get his layup to fall. Hoy there to clean it up. Hoy gets it to drop. Hoy have himself a night, 23 to 18. Gabe's up to a dozen. Boy. Game is getting physical. Gonna go to a timeout, but let's not go hit that pause button just yet, Kyle. Take that camera over to the uh, student section. Let's see who we got here. Can you give me a little focus now? Focus in here and I'll see if I can't pull out a couple celebrities. Who's front row there? Get a little closer. Who's got the Le'Veon Bell hat on down there? Go to the right a little bit, Cal. Let's try to figure out who, who's Le'Veon Bell there. My eyes are bad. Can't see him there. They got Sam Ellis there. The white shirt. Take it a little bit to the left now, bud, and pan out. Let's see if we can't. It's a USC student section. Let's pull it over to the left side now, see if we can't uh, pull out some celebrity parents. Youth night here at Upper St. Clair, and I see, uh, I see uh, famous travel basketball coach Tom Fitzpatrick in the crowd. Ah, there's a celebrity right there looking at his phone, middle screen. That is your Upper St. Clair Baseball Commissioner, Eric Lund. And of course, that is my man, Zach Dudas. Number one fan in USC, and we are coming back to play now. 23-18. Panthers by five, 449 to play. Fourth team foul for St. Clair. Zach Dudas is graduated from Upper St. Clair High School. He was a phenomenal as uh, number two, uh, Jaden Nelson uh, gets a two to drop. It's 23-20 USC. Zach Dudas was phenomenal rec basketball player. His specialty were three point shots from the right corner. If you didn't get a hand on his face, he would make you pay. St. Clair can't get it to work on the offensive side. And that's Jaden Nelson back this way. Uh, Trinity rolls off a quick four points and it's back to a one point game. And they just call that foul on Minor. I don't believe so. It was called, uh, Meinert was the victim of the foul, the recipient. And it's saying it was a four, uh, floor foul. 
Uh, team fouls are four, St. Clair, three USC. Uh, Hansberry, the quarterback, inbounds the ball, finds tailback. Colin McClendon, right side to linebacker Kyle Miner. Miner takes it to the rack. Saul Wells guilty of the block. He gets the two to fall. And Kyle Miner is a rec tailback, or a recreational tailback, and uh, he played strong safety. Looking at a chance to uh, convert a three point, uh, three point play here. Miner does, it's 26-22. USC by four. Playing aggressive defense, they turn the Hillers over. Here comes Radfar from Nelson. 28-22. St. Clair by six. Biggest lead of the night. Nelson takes it straight to the rack and is fouled going up by Radfar. And Nelson's playing with a lot of juice here in this second half. Number two. Jaden Nelson, he's a 5'11 sophomore guard. He came out of the break. And a little mix up here in the substitution. Gabe can't come in until after the first shot. Gabe Hoy's trying to check in. Looks like he's gonna replace uh, number 24, Quentin Nelson down there in a the low block. It's where they like to put their tall trees. Where most of the missed shots, rebounds fall. Closer to the rim. Nelson's good. Score table will buzz Hoy in. Nelson out. 28-23. And the USC by five with 340 to play. Jay Nelson with nine on the night. He uh, he's into the double digits now. It's 28-25. Uh, Jay Nelson has 10. McClendon working right side. As Nelson transitions to defense now. Minor cross court pass to Radfar. Radfar works it out to Minor. Minor works it around. Radfar tries the inside. Can't get the teardrop to fall, but he's fouled going up and he's going to shoot two. Darius Radfar has literally been playing violin and shooting basketball since the day I met him as a second grader. He is Baker Elementary alumni. First one's good, it's 29-24. USC, chance to expand to six. 30-24. St. Clair turns him over. Minor with the intercepted ball. He gets two to drop. And he's fouled going up. St. Clair has opened up to an eight point lead now. Good defensive effort. They turned uh, Trinity over there. Minor picked the ball off and he took it straight to the rack. 32-24. Minor's got seven on the night. He opened up this uh, with 22 against uh, Manesson Greyhounds. And Cal gets the uh, and one the fall. It's a 33-24 game. We got 3.15 to play in the third. Hillers, Joey Corolla goes left side, rejected by Quentin Nelson. Good effort down here by Corolla. Tries to turn the Panthers over. McClendon wins the one-on-one -on -one match. Ball is on the floor, so are a number of Panther and Hillers. Trinity comes away with the ball. Saul West was working un underneath. And uh, Colin McClendon gave him the business down there a little too much. It's a floor foul. Both teams now with six floor fouls, or six personal fouls. That'll put them both in the bonus. Next foul will produce a one-on-one -on -one situation for the other team. Saul West will inbound the ball from underneath his offensive hoop. Finds Robert Nelson, Joey Caroli. And Joey uh, loses the handle of that ball. It's be St. Clair possession coming this way. 
Well, we're three quarters through Coach Holzer's first four games. I had a quick conversation with Coach before the season started, and he said that we would find a lot out about his team these first four games. And what we know with a little bit left in this game is that they're a one and two team, and uh, Darius gets two to drop there. And they've played, in my opinion, three of those four games with an awful lot of energy and, uh, and could have won uh, definitely the first two in the Modell uh, tip-off classic. Pine Richland was a different story. Uh, St. Clair went on a run in that game in the first quarter, had an early lead, and then Pine Richland just opened it up. And that's where that game settled. But I tell you, I, we'll see how the season unfolds. Uh, Pine Richland, last year's Whippeal champs, could, could full well repeat this year. If there's a better team than, um, than Pine Richland in 6A, uh, they can have it. Uh, Pine Richland rolls out three Division I kids. Dracovic is going to be a quarterback at, at Notre Dame. Kerrigan is going to be, uh, Ryan Kerrigan is going to be a tackle tight end at, uh, at Pitt. And uh, Petcash, Andrew Petcash is a uh, Division I uh, basketball player. Uh, very good uh, Pine Richland team. Here we got USC 35, Trinity 26, a minute and a half to play in the third. Hansberry working right side, finds Christopher Pantelis, the sophomore. Christopher Jacks, a three ball, can't get it to fall, it's off the back of the iron. And a rebound comes Miner's way. Miner gets it back up on top and uh, the Panthers will reset. And they're burning a little clock here. Nine point lead, a minute to play in the third quarter. Trinity may be backing off a little bit on that defense. The three ball can't get it to fall. Minor with an assist from Hoy, and they are just out working Trinity right now in the offensive glass. And you know what they get for that? Minor just worked his way to the free throw line. This has been a 40 second possession, it involved two offensive rebounds. It culminated in Minor taking it straight to the rack and getting fouled. They've taken time off the clock. And if Kyle can hit these, it'll result in points. First one is down. That's what you call a very effective and efficient possession. 36-26. St. Clair by 10 against a very good Trinity Hillers team. This is a uh, evenly matched game. Miner gets them both the fall. St. Clair's got their biggest lead of the game. We're under a minute to play with 45 seconds. And there's that defense again. They're turning St. Clair over. They're turning Trinity over at the half court line. Darius, three ball, was halfway down, couldn't get it to fall. St. Clair playing with an awful lot of juice right now, an awful lot of energy. They've turned these Hillers over, and they've turned this game around in the third quarter. Their best quarter of play by far this year has been this third quarter as uh, the fine guard from uh, Trinity, Joey Caroli, dribble drives, finds the left side, and it's good. 37-28, we got 10 to play. Darius finds Minert, Minert, shot fake, can't get the two to fall. Long rebound taken off by Caroli. Caroli working left side, he's gonna get a last second shot up and he gets it to fall, it's a big basket. If it counts, it counts. 37-30. USC leads as we head to the fourth and we're going to a break. Welcome back Panther fans, Phil Elias and Kyle Romano bringing you a little Friday night basketball action. Let's see if we can get a quick celebrity sighting up here. Oh, look who's joined Eric Lund. That's uh, Deerfield celebrity. Darren Moore. Uh, I see Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Dr. Phillips in there. Dr. Phillips is the uh, football team's orthopod. He lives in Tall Trees. I'd like to say he's the pride of Tall Trees, but he's not. Darius Riotfar is. We are 37-30. We're in the fourth quarter, opens up. Hillers with the possession. 
Hillers just ran off four quick ones. Pulled this thing within seven. Chance to go on a little bit of a 6-0 run here. Caroli finding like on the left side. He went underneath on the right side. Couldn't get it to fall. Ball's OB. And will uh, ball's out of bounds and will be coming, uh, coming back St. Clair's way. Trinity a full court press trying to turn these Panthers over. Panthers break it. Radfar deep three off the front end of the iron. Can't get it down. 37-30, 7.30 to play. St. Clair had, had a 13 point lead there. Beg your pardon, St. Clair had a, uh, an 11 point lead. Trinity's pulled it to win in seven. Radfar guilty of the block. That's gonna send Caroli to the line, shooting one and one. Number three, Joey Caroli. That's 10 on the night. He's shooting one and one. I beg your pardon, that was a two shot foul. They're both good, 37-32. Trinity back within five with plenty of time to play. Radfar was fouled. And uh, that's a one and one. It's Caroli's first, Joey Caroli uh, guilty of the block. Darius Radfar, he is the true Pride of tall trees. 38 32. Darius is good. He's got seven on the night. Radfart, Nelson, Hansberry, McClendon, Minard are your five on the floor you know, for the hometown Panthers. You know, the Hillers inbound the ball quickly. You know, guard Caroli comes left side. Schultz. Schultz finds Caroli underneath. That's big number 30. Ben Phyllis, he's good for two. They're trying to trap Darius left side, hasn't worked. Nelson underneath, doesn't have an angle to the hoop, finds McClendon out on top. Defenders quickly approach. McClendon finds his guard, Radfar. Back to McClendon. Nelson. Guards right side against Minor, Radfar up top, Caroli, just a fantastic pass. Really, really good pass. Finds Minor cutting and slashing to the basket. It's good for two, 41-34, Caroli right side. Can't get it to fall, that ball's picked off. Jack Hansberry, not a kid that likes to hear the word pick off, at least not on Friday nights in the fall. Uh, there he did pick an inadvertent pass off. Took it right to the rack, 43-34. St. Clair expands back to nine. Caroli working baseline. He was pushed by Darius Radfar. That's a foul. That is gonna be a one and one situation. We got 6-10 to play in the game. And Caroli will, uh, Joey Caroli, uh, the junior guard from Trinity will be shooting one and one. Big Gabe checks in. Big Quentin checks out, 43-34, USC by nine. That's what my mom used to tell me. Be home by nine. Crowley misses the uh, front end of a one and one. Hansberry picks up a loose ball, finds sophomore McClendon. McClendon goes right side, finds that angle, kissing her underneath baseline. Hoy back out and top to Hansberry. A patient St. Clair team moves the ball well. Looking for that high percentage shot opportunity. Ball gets loose, Jaden Nelson finds the loose ball, gets it to the rack, he's fouled going up. Jaden will shoot two, try to pull these Hillers within seven. And that was Minor, uh, guilty of the foul. That's uh, Kyle is, uh, Kyle's second uh, personal foul. Jaden Nelson shooting two. First one is down.
Second one doesn't work. Hansberry with the rebound. Finds McClendon. McClendon tries to clear it out. Crowley with the defense. Uh, breaks up a pass. And balls out of bounds on uh, near side. And uh, Kyle Monard, he got that haircut for the opener. It was sharp. Still looks okay, but I'm telling you, that kid was, uh, he was ready to go uh, night one. Short hair, sharp haircut. <laughs> Hansberry called for the charge. Uh, they're not a St. Clair fan in his place that liked that foul. Trinity agrees with the call. It's the only case where a uh, floor foul in the bonus doesn't result in the other team shooting one and one. That was an offensive charge, and it's a, um, they turned him over. Trinity down 43-35. We got 5.20 to play. Caroli sets up Shaw top side. We'll switch defense there. Finds Nelson guarding him top side. Schultz for three, can't get it to fall. Kissinger with the rebound to Pride of Sky Ridge. Brings the ball up court, looking for a little help. Finds it McClendon in a trail. St. Clair now gonna work that patient offense. Burn clock, look for high percentage shot opportunities. And a timeout called uh, by a frustrated Danny Holzer. We are 43-35, 4.54 to play. We're gonna go to a break. Welcome back to Upper St. Clair High School, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Elias and Cal Romano. Working this uh, Friday night matchup against Upper St. Clair and Trinity. St. Clair holds a 43-35 lead. We got 4.54 to play. Uh, St. Clair possession, Coach Danny Holzer just called a timeout. And he uh, trots out on the field, Kissinger, McClendon, Minor, Hansberry, Nelson. Robert Nelson, Joey Corolla, Jaden Nelson, Jeff Ecker, and Dylan Kern are on the floor for these Hillers. That's Hansberry working right side. He finds McClendon. Like the way Collins playing basketball here early in this sophomore campaign for him. Finds Kissinger, the ever tenacious. Matthew Kissinger, I told you I saw his dad and uh, uncle in line. <clears throat> Concession stand at halftime. Ball was hand checked out of bounds. Stay St. Clair possession. I think the St. Clair faithful uh, may have been looking for a turnover. Forty-three thirty-five. 4.16 to play. I think this game has been physical. I think there have been an awful lot of fouls. I think defense has been really tight. They just called Joey Caroli number three for a hold away from the ball. If that's the case, yeah, they did. That's gonna send McClendon to the line, shooting two. That's going to send Jack Hansberry to the line, shooting two. Hansberry going double digits. He can get one of these drop. He can't get the front end to work. 43-35, four minutes. Jaden Nelson working against Hansberry. Left side. Yeah, that's an appropriate call there. Travel on Nelson, turns him over. St. Clair. Four minutes and uh, four seconds to play. Good crowd here tonight. Um, girls, varsity uh, played tonight as well against Trinity. They lost a heartbreaker. Trinity last second uh, shot beat them by two. Uh, so that game was played on this floor before this one. And then over in the small gym, uh, both teams, uh, JV teams have played. So we've, this is our, uh, our fourth basketball game here tonight. Action started at, uh, I think, 6.30. St. 
St. Clair by eight with 3.30 to play. It just got minor. On a foul. Uh, the, the foul was on McClendon, but it sends Joey Crowley to the uh, to the line. He's a leading scorer tonight. Uh, Crowley with 12. He will be shooting two. Uh, both teams now are in the double bonus, so the one and one's out. All fouls from here on in will result in two shot attempts, regardless of what happens to the front end of the shot. Crowley hits them both. 43-37, Trinity pulls within six. McClendon finds big boy Gabe Hoy, left side, he's a long way from home. Uh, Gabe sets up shop with his back to the glass and underneath, St. Clair working it. If the Trinity wasn't playing this tight defense, you would see St. Clair just grind his clock. And it looks like they could be looking to grind a little bit right now. They got the ball in their ball handler and uh, in their players that handle the ball. And Miner draws a foul. And he'll shoot two. So you grind a little clock there. Let's see if we can get him, Cow, to hit both of these. 43 37, St. Clair by six. And St. Clair hits the road. Miner then. Uh, Plunks the uh, first off the front end of the iron. Uh, St. Clair quite literally hits the road uh, after this game. They will go to Orlando, Florida uh, next week. I think they go for four days. They play in a tournament down there. And then they, uh, they will return to play December 27th. And I think they have the Prixies of Washington in a, t in a tournament in Peters Township. And it's two days after uh, Christmas. Uh, Minor hits the back end of a two-shot foul. It's 44-37, 2.50 to play. Caroli underneath, tries to find his classmate Saul West. Saul loses the handle. Caroli picks up the loose ball. Trinity possession. Underneath again to Saul. Can't get it to work. Nelson comes up with the loose ball and crosses over his opponent. And um, timeout, Upper St. Clair. Uh, we're going to go to a break with 2.37 to play. Welcome back to Upper St. Clair High School, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Elias with sophomore Cal Romano on the camera. We're, uh, we sit on the visitor's side, top row, next to team videographer Mike O'Brien. Mike O'Brien uh, also does uh, uh, the football program here. And uh, do you do boys lacrosse too? He also does lacrosse. 2.37 to play, 44-37. USC leads. St. Clair uh, called a timeout. They'll probably come out with some kind of design to burn. Trinity quick files there. I don't know if that was by design. Probably was. A chance uh, for McClendon head to the line. He's going to shoot two. And it's good. 45-37. Both teams operate in the double bonus. Two and a half to play. St. Clair by eight. Second one is off the back end. Hillers pick it up and will attack that rim quickly. Caroli one to the left side, took it up strong, was fouled. He'll shoot two. We're to that point in the night where any kind of infraction will stop the clock and will send somebody to the line. This is where Trinity wants to score, right? With time standing still. The clock is not moving. Uh, they're behind. Uh, they, their preference is to score uh, with the clock not moving. Fifty-fifty hits for sixty bucks. It's a big number. 
I'm looking at this cow, uh, this cry, crowd cow. Sometimes you can tell who hits that 50-50. I can't tell right now. What I want to know is if nobody hits it, do they re redraw a ticket? Or does the 50-50 turn into a 0-100? Crowley's good on the front end of a two-shot foul. Hillers within seven, two and a half to play. Second one's good too, 45-40. We got a running clock now with 2.30 to play. The Hillers are playing tight, tight defense. They gotta get a turnover. They don't wanna do is waste too much time in transition. So you can see them push the ball and try to get right to that rack. Uh, Caroli finds Chev underneath, can't get it to fall. Hansberry with the rebound. He finds Radfar left side. Radfar pulls it out, wants to burn some clock. Hiller's all over him. And uh, coach Danny Holzer calls a timeout. Uh, there's two to play, 2.01 to play, 45-39. We'll uh, go to a break and be right Welcome back, back to Upper St. Clair High School, ladies and gentlemen. Philly lies uh, joined by Kyle Romano. 2.01 to play. 45-39 USC. Coach Holzer called a timeout. Jack Hansberry will inbound the ball. He finds Radfar left side. Radfar against Robert Nelson. Boy, they, uh, Darius stepped on the baseline there and turned it over. Looked like he got shoved by me. St. Clair is going to sit back now. Let uh, Trinity come up with the ball. Trinity could have saved a second or two there if they rolled it up. St. Clair gave him access uh, to the um, offensive zone and did not press. Boy, uh, number 25, Jeff Eckert just uh, committed an offensive charge. It's not going to result in any foul shots, but it will give the possession to St. Clair with a minute 50. 151 to play. Let's see how long the clock, how much they can take off this clock before a whistle gets blown. They're either going to foul them or turn them over. They're down by six. Caroli's on Radfar, super tight. He gets the foul. The time on the clock, 141. They took 10 seconds off the clock. I think Coach Holzer is frustrated. He wanted to... Uh, he didn't get the call on Darius down here in the baseline. He thought he was shoved out of bounds. And then um, the real tight defense trying to turn him over. Took two bumps to get a uh, foul call. But it came. And to an extent, it's better. They caught it on the first one. It would have been maybe nine seconds off the clock. So they get a good, clean 10 seconds off the clock. And Darius makes him pay half the way with... Success on the front end of a two-shot foul. Darius makes good on them both. And um, it's a 47-39 game. St. Clair content. Trinity will roll the ball now. Save a second or two. Caroli working against Minor. Minor good defense. Caroli finds Jaden uh, Nelson. Nelson's good. Right side. Uh, Pantelis, the sophomore, seeing some good action tonight. 47 41. Trinity turns to St. Clair over. Jay Nelson for a three. Can't get it to fall. Minor with the rebound. Looking for some help. Finds Hansberry. Hansberry to Nelson. Nelson to Kissinger. St. Clair looking to burn some clock. Play keep away at this point. They foul Hansberry with a minute six to play. 47 41. Uh, Jack Hansberry, a good foul shooter, uh, will go to the line. You got to make him pay for the fouls. You got to make him pay by hitting foul shots. And uh, Trinity's got uh, he's got some foul trouble here with a minute six to play. Caroli's got four. Thirty-four. Schultz has got four. 
25 Eckers got four. Hansbury hits them both, 49-41. St. Clair intent to let Trinity come into the half court. Offense, Caroli jacks a three, can't get it to fall. Hansbury with the rebound, full court press. Gets the ball out, it's gonna save some time. They're eventually gonna foul. They can't get rad far, someone's gotta get on them. And that's a, uh, I tell you what, that's a, that's a timeout um, uh, holzer. Before we go to a break, Trinity's inability to foul there means Holzer gets a timeout. He'll get the set of play up here, inbound the ball, and, uh, and burn a few more seconds. 49-41, and we'll be back, going to a break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Elias and Cal Romano, 49-41, USC holds to an eight-point lead. Forty-six point three seconds to play. St. Clair off a timeout. Hansbury will inbound the ball. If they can connect on a pass or two, they're gonna they're gonna be able to bleed precious time off this clock. Hansbury fouls, finds Miner. They quickly get to Kyle. Uh, 44.5 to play. Kyle will go to uh, go to the line shooting two. Uh, Kyle's had another very solid night. And he's been good for 13 points today. Miner, first one's good. Back up by nine. St. Clair has been able to hit these foul shots. Second one's good. St. Clair by 10. 44 seconds to play. That's the big boy underneath. That's the, uh, and they're all jumping underneath that basket. That's, uh, I call that the Pime of Tooming. They should go up to Pime of Tooming and they got a little well there and a carp just to throw bread into them and they all jump up there. And like underneath that rack, like carp trying to get bread. Uh, Minert and the St. Clair Panthers are able to bleed another 25 seconds off the clock. 17.6 to play. And uh, Kyle's gonna go to the line shooting two. This is a hard fought. Um, Disciplined win uh, by the St. Clair Panthers. Uh, pull uh, Danny Holzer to two and two as he gets through this really tough uh, four game grind at 500. Now, he didn't know if he was going to be 0 4 coming out of this thing. He didn't know what he had. I think he's got a good idea uh, that he's got a good, solid, tough, disciplined, cohesive team. He wants to play like a unit and they'll get on an airplane December 18th, head down to sunny Orlando, Florida. They're two and two, and they come off a very, very impressive win here against a very good Trinity team. Final from Upper St. Clair High School, USC 52, Trinity 41. I'm Phil Elias, and on behalf of myself and Cal Romano, we bid you a fond good night.